welcome to Lego Club today. Today we're going to be making a marble run, something a little bit different. Uh, so yeah, let's get started, shall we? First you're going to need two base plates. Some people use three, but I'm only making a smaller version today. We're going to line our base plates up and then we're going to use simply two connected base plates. Get our marble and we work out the spacings between. So you'll need at least three rows so that way your marble can flow freely in between. So then we're going to come up here and we're going to create the start. And I'm going to use a little window as the starting gate. Marble can go through. So if we try not to leave too big of a gap there, it'll flow down in the stages a little bit better. Our marble's trying to escape already. Slided our marble down. Now we're going to get a plate with a spinner and we're going to make a windmill type arm. We're going to get a nice long flat piece. Make sure you put it the right way, otherwise, it doesn't connect. A little bit of a tester. Yep, that's good. Round and round. So your marble should come down. I could be amused by this for hours. about a marble run is it's all trial and error. So now I've discovered that I can't move my windmill if I place these pieces here so I need to make sure they're wide enough. We're going to give it a bit of a practice run and see if we can get the marble to go straight through. Again, the things about this is it's all trial and error. So we'll start our marble up there, give him a little push. And it kind of worked. Okay, 
So we're going to open these doors to allow access. I'm going to close this one. And we should hopefully have a good run. Yeah! So as you can see, there's a lot of trial and error. You may have to continuously run the marble to make sure that you can make things move. Um, my windmill doesn't, didn't quite work as expected because my marble wasn't heavy enough. But trial and error. Love to see your results. We'll see you next time.